Hi, this is Craig with Rave TV. I'm here with Daryl. We'd like to welcome him back to the Rave. Hey, thanks for taking the time. No, sweet. Thank you guys, man, for bringing me back. Yeah, hey, um, so 2013 or 2014 just started. How's everything going so far? Uh, you know what? It's actually going right a little too fast, but i um, trying my best to keep up. You know, uh, all these shows the, the, the um, on the DJ side, you know, you got the shows, the touring, the traveling, and, uh, you know, um, keeping up with the... Uh, making sure you're on time you know and that's something i've never been good good at you know with schedules so um but and then on the production side where you have all the remixes and the collaborations then i have the album work that i'm doing and then on the personal side i have my family my two kids so it's really hard to juggle everything you know especially when you're so tired mm -hmm. <laughs> so um definitely it's been a hectic year but honestly it's been such a blessing good good and as far as on the producing side what are some of your favorite parts uh definitely getting to try new things you know lately i've been producing with um so many different artists on so many sides you know including genres um working with radio stuff you know um more television um you know i did some like i did some work for a magician you know for his show so uh and that's so cool because you know you get you get the experience so when you bring it back to your camp i have i have a camp of producers that i'm helping and um, you have so much experience on different other things that you can share with them, and it might it might be an interest to them, you know. So that's always that's the good thing, you know, venturing out and trying new things. And that's um, that's something that I always encourage people to do. A lot of people are afraid to try new things because it's oh, you try radio, you're a sellout, you know. So um, it's not about that. It's about having experience to come back and you know hopefully if somebody says hey do you know how i can well, if i want to be a, a radio producer what do i do i have that experience you know i have that knowledge i at least tried it once so i want to be the person that is very helpful so that's probably my favorite part that you get to try new things cool cool and now on the actual djing like going out and doing shows what to you makes a good show the people obviously without the people i mean it doesn't like, it won't matter who was up there you know <laughs> um the fact that you know the energy they put into it the love you know some people go all out you know they paint their faces they make the signs they print out big heads of me you know that is to me it doesn't matter if there's the sound system is the worst sound system in the world you know if like the table is falling apart it doesn't matter what it is it's the people that, that that really make the show what it is you know um i've been to some venues that are falling apart but it's you know amazing because the people there just turn that place into something magical and then i've been to really really good venues that where the people are like just like you know they're not they don't even care about what's going on they're just like drinking but they're like drinking clubs you know so it um it's honestly uh it's not really me it's the people that make the show like memorable cool cool and this is your second time back at the rave yes and so gotta be pretty excited about that how do you like the rave in comparison well you know what last time when i was here you guys have great security by the way and this is why i say that because um i played an opening set for an opening uh, uh like i was at the very 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 first dj so when i first played the first song i played there was about five people in the crowd and there was a main room the big room <clears throat> by the time i played my last song i only played for 45 minutes by the time i played my last song that room was filled so your security guys you are quick with letting people in man so um Definitely, I'm really excited with just just an opening set. It was so much fun. I can only imagine what like you know having my own full set is gonna be like. So I'm really really excited. I'm stoked. Awesome. And and what should we be expecting for you this uh, year? This year, uh, well, you got the album for sure coming. In. Oh, you mean the the, the set? No, no, no. Just, just oh, for in this general, year, yeah. um, yeah, you have the album coming at the end of the year. You know, and um, I'm not supposed to start working on the album until like. September, October, but I love making albums. I'm about 19 songs into my album already, so um, I'm I want like a buffet of songs, and I'll just choose, you know, oh this is perfect my album, and then this will be for the free album, and then this will be some songs to give out for free. So it's like there's some there's, uh, loads of music. That's what I that's my aim. I'm a producer at heart, so I always want to um, give back to the people that give me so much love at shows. You know, I feel like the only way I can give back to them is through music. So. All right, and finally some goals some dreams that you have that starting to get a little bit closer on as <laughs> things are starting to pick up um my goal is to obviously it's always been this since the start to help people you know um i know a lot of people have the same dreams as me and everybody um you know has the same dream and they're not so um i you know when i started off it wasn't i i, I was i was homeless there was a point where i was homeless you know i had a struggle a lot, a lot of people have struggles so and 
uh, unfortunately, it's that struggle that prevents a lot of people from being able to even begin chasing their dreams, you know, where, you know, they don't have money to go and try. You know, I collected cans to go to uh, Guitar Center down the street and, you know, practice on the CDJ. So um, there's a lot of a lot of uh, unfortunate people stuck in the dark, you know, so that my goal is to help them um, at least give them an opportunity, give them a chance, do whatever I can do, you know, because um I've been there, and I don't want people to suffer the way I did. So um, that's why the whole Panda Funk thing. I started the whole Panda Funk thing. It's all about helping others, believing in yourself, and being humble, and still becoming successful. You know, as long as you're humble, it's not about the money. And um, a Panda Funk tour. You know, we bring everybody on tour, all the kids. And then if those kids they have some contests, whether the kids in that city get to also play. You know, just little things like that. That's my goal, just to try and get Panda Funk. To, to prove itself and, and, and let people know that, you know, anything is really possible. It doesn't matter what your situation is. Awesome. Awesome. Well, hey, we're all real excited to have you here. I'm Thank excited you. for the show tonight. Thank you. And uh, big thanks for taking the time to talk with us. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the Rave TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>